Hey everybody, it's Edie, your video and YouTube strategist. And today I'm coming in with the third update that Camtasia has just released for their Windows and Mac, and that's the 9.1 and 3.1 versions. And today is going to be about editing your assets and specifically your intro and lower third video assets. They have made it a little bit easier for you to edit them now. So what I wanted to first show you is how it used to be. So this is a version from 9.0 and you would still go into the asset library. You would pull down your video asset, in this instance it's an intro, onto your timeline and then you would need to um, First, I guess, view it to see if this is what you wanted to use. And then once you knew, okay, this is what I want to use and I now need to change the text on it, you would see now that there's only one tab up there. It doesn't really give you a lot of variation. So if you needed to do any editing, you had to ungroup your media. You would then per place your playhead above the area that you needed to work on and then you would double click on the text and then you would be able to manually type it in on your canvas, the text that you wanted to replace it with, because everything comes in with the TechSmith Camtasia text. And then you have the ability to change it out to do what you want to do with it. So that's how you would have to do it. And then from there, you could also adjust your behaviors and do all of the other adjustments, whether it's that you wanted to change the font or if you wanted to change the color of your um, asset. So the way that it's done now is a whole lot easier. So I wanted to show you exactly what that would look like. So our asset library is open here. We're going to go to intro clips because I'm going to do an example just using the intros. I'm going to do the spinning computer again. I'm going to turn that off so that I can do what I need to do here. So this is the actual asset that I brought down. It's the same one. It's going to come up and say TechSmith. And so instead now of me having to ungroup or open up this group, I want you to look over here under properties. There's now two tabs. Before it was just this tab that was here, but now they've given you a tab to actually adjust and edit your text. So now all you need to do is just highlight the text in this uh, field here, and then you type in what you want it to now say. So I'm gonna put it as my name and what I do, and then you just hit return. Now, I don't want to use this particular font, so I'm going to go to the drop down menu. And as you can see, I have a choice of multiple fonts, and I'm going to choose playlist because I like that script um, look. And then I'm going to brand this with my own colors. And there you go. And then because I want this to take up more space than here, than is right here currently. I'm going to make this as large as I can, which is there. And then if I need to do any other adjusting, if I wanted to make the screen a little bit bigger, meaning that I wanted to make the laptop come a little closer, I could do that, but I'm actually cool with where it is. Um, I, if I wanted to make any sort of adjustments to the behavior, and the behavior refers to how is the text coming in? Is it bouncing? Is it pulsing? Is it, um, and I think this is like a pulse. So if I wanted to make any adjustments to that, all I would have to do is click on to, I'd have to open up the group and then I click on to the text um, layer. And then you would come up here and you see now you have the uh, media, you have your text, and then you have your behavior. So here you would be able to adjust it for the in, what do you want to have when it's um, just on the screen, and then how do you want to exit. So now you can make those adjustments. And so it's fairly easy. I mean, for the most part, they give you the 
behavior so you don't have to worry about trying to figure out okay which behavior do I want to use or, or anything like that you can adjust this as you like so I do like the way that they've done this this does make it a lot easier for you but as always I'd love to hear your feedback what are your thoughts are you even using their lower third and intro assets and if you are do you find this a lot easier or is old school the way to go for you and as always, if you would like to um, share this and comment below as well as like it, just to show me some love and let me know that you are enjoying this content, I greatly appreciate it. So thank you so much. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like it share it with your friends and colleagues, and do leave a comment below. Thanks again.